Coach D, and I am sick and tired of our running backs running out of bounds. They're about to run down the sideline and score a touchdown, but then they just step out of bounds for no reason. Come on now, we're gonna change that. Also, my defenders are not protecting my sideline. So I've got a running back on the other team getting this sideline and going all the way down for a touchdown. We're gonna change that. This is the sideline 2.0 drill. So what I've done is I have created two sidelines here. I've got four cones on this side, creating a sideline, nice. And then on the other side, I've done the same thing. So I've got another sideline over here. And then this cone here in the middle, this is basically creating two separate sideline lanes. So I've got one over here and one over here. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then finally, I've got two cones way out here, about seven yards away, and that is for my running backs to start. Now the reason I have it so far away is I want the running backs, as they get to this sideline, to run full speed. So I want them about seven yards of full speed running before they enter the drill. Let me show you how it works. On ready go, my running back is going to run full speed toward that sideline lane. Ready, go. Full speed, boom. And this is where the defender coming from that side is going to meet the running back. And they're going to have a nice one-on-one. -on -one. And what I want the running back to do is not step out of bounds, but to cut in or make a nice sweet move, okay, or get skinny, make some kind of move to either win the sideline or cut in, right, and score a touchdown no more running out of bounds. I need them to be very conscious, very focused on that sideline and what do they do when they get there? Let's show you in full speed. Ready, go. Woo, nice. Now the defender is gonna be running full speed from right here. So I set up my defenders right here. They're running to that same lane. They run full speed, break down to protect the sideline. They're either trying to force the runner out or force them into their buddies or obviously pull their flags. So that happens very rapid. They go all at the same time, boom, and they meet right there. It's a great drill. It takes it to the next level. Now, the reason I've done two sidelines is once they're done going, now the next group can go. So I've got half of my running backs on this side, half on that side. The second they're done, now this running back goes to this sideline, cuts in, right? So that they're being able to work both sides, both sidelines, so they learn how to do both sides. If they only cut on this side, uh-uh. I want them to be able to cut on both sides. Simple as that. And then switch and rotate. You are going to find this is gonna take your team to a whole new level and it's a heck of a lot of fun look get some this season this is coach d if you like what you see subscribe and of course like share and comment we'll see you in the next video take care